Today we're looking at an absolutely bonkers popper combo deck, one of the most hilarious decks we've ever covered. But before we do that, it's giveaway time. Along with our friends at Umotivo, we'll be giving away two boxes of Hour of Devastation to two lucky subscribers, shipped anywhere in the world for free. All you have to do is click the first link in the description, subscribe to the Mana Source, subscribe to Umotivo, or sub to both for more chances to win. Umotivo is a Brazilian MTG YouTuber, and the entire MTG YouTube community in Brazil is starting to grow. They make amazing videos and even though there's a language barrier, you can get valuable gameplay insight from watching the playtesting, including a video released just yesterday covering the exact deck we're about to tech. Please go check out their channel if you like popper gameplay or just want to support a new and awesome MTG YouTube community. It would mean a lot. Also, you get to win free stuff for doing nothing more than hitting the sub button. Alright, let's do this thing. Inside Out Combo revolves around two cards. The first, Tireless Tribe. This little common from Odyssey is one most players have long forgotten about. One white mana for a 1-1, one, one, and you can discard a card from your hand to pump its toughness, plus 4. Becoming a 1-5 with a single discard can make for a decent wall, but this has no business seeing play in basically anything until now. The second half of the Inside Out Combo deck, Inside Out. Two mana, switch target creatures, power and toughness until end of turn, draw a card, hilarious. Think about it. You get your Tireless Tribe out there early, you have a full hand, then just start discarding cards to the tribe. 1-5, one 1-9, one nine, one 13, one 17, one 21, then cast inside out, it becomes a 21-1 and boom, game. This deck can win on turn 2 with massive discard and no blockers. Seriously, turn 2, this is so funny. Now you might be thinking if this deck revolves around just these two cards, you need a few things to happen. First, you actually need both cards, and second, you have to hope the tribe doesn't get blocked. Well, lucky for you, the rest of the deck addresses both of those concerns adequately and humorously. First, let's focus on getting Tireless Tribe through blockers. The deck runs a place at a Shadow Rift. Oh yeah, we're going far back for this. One blue mana instant, target creature gains shadow until end of turn. You know how many shadows there are in Popper right now? Not many. Not many at all. Shadow Rift gives a type of evasion most decks can't deal with, and it replaces itself, allowing you to discard whatever it is you just drew for more eventual power. This is our way to get the tribe through. We're also running a single copy of Dizzy Spell as a 3 mana tutor for both the tribe and Shadow Rift for whenever we need either. Transmute is incredibly effective, and you can look at this card as a fifth copy of both. Of course, a single tutor isn't going to get us what we need, though, which is why most of the rest of the deck is chock full of some of the most powerful card filtering spells in all of Magic. The deck runs playsets of Gitaxian Pro, Ponder, and Preordain, along with three Brainstorm. All banned or restricted in various formats, that's how good they are. They all give you information, but more importantly, they keep your hand size full. They all replace themselves, so when you're searching for your tribe or inside out, you don't lose anything. You need a full hand to perform your combo effectively. Remember, you need to discard a lot of cards. All the draw spells in this deck replace themselves, supremely important. In addition to direct draw spells, the deck also includes Impulse and Gush. Impulse lets you go four cards deep looking for what you need, can't go wrong there. Gush functions as both a draw spell and a win condition. We obviously have to use the tribe to win the game, but Gush does something amazing. It's a single card, but when you cast it for its alternative cost, you draw two cards and you return two islands to your hand. That's a single card in exchange for four. You net gain three cards with Gush. That can mean the difference in a match. That's 12 more points of eventual power for your tribe. Gush is an all-star in this deck, incredibly good, and when you don't have a full hand, it saves you pretty much every time. Our last card filter in the deck is Augur of Bolas. It is a creature and we're only running a couple, but it replaces itself, and digging three cards deep for the spell you need is pretty good. Besides the tribe, the only cards you're looking for are instants. Simply another way to get what you need as fast as possible, and a 1-3 body for two makes for some decent blocks early game, just in case you lag a little bit getting your combo online. To round out the deck, you need some protection. You can't just let any old popper strategy mess with what you're trying to do. That'd be ridiculous. The deck includes a playset of Circular Logic and three Dispel. Now, Dispel is pretty self-explanatory. It counters an instant. They want to play removal? Nope. Done. Simple enough. 
But circular logic, that's what you need to focus on. That card has always been absurdly powerful in the right strategies, and this is absolutely the right strategy. Think about it. The tribe asks you to discard. There's no additional cost, you just need to discard. Circular logic, you get to play for one blue mana when you try to discard it. Being able to madness circular logic on a stick is unbelievably powerful, and there's almost never a time that someone can deal with it. Even early game, you've usually played at least one or two cantrips by turn two or three. Your opponent having removal and then being able to cast it through whatever you've played already? Not likely. Circular Logic and Dispel both help generate a solid shield around your combo. So good. Going over the land base real quick, it's pretty simple. The deck runs 18 lands in total, 3 Terramorphic Expanse, and 3 Ash Barons as non-basics. You need this many fetch lands because the deck only runs 3 planes for the Tireless Tribe. The rest of the deck is blue. That's why the mana base is rounded out with 9 islands and 3 planes. In total, there are 9 ways to get white mana, and I've rarely had issue doing that. It's a simple but solid land spread. Inside Out Combo has a singular focus. Get Tireless Tribe onto the battlefield, discard your entire hand, Inside Out. Keep in mind that the deck barely needs anything to get going, you really just need the tribe and inside out, then you can discard until your face falls off. If your opponent is tapped out or doesn't have a blocker available, simply these two cards win the game on the spot as long as you have at least five cards in your hand. You need to be able to discard five cards to make the tribe a 21-1 with inside out. That's your magic number. If you need to float mana and then gush, do it. If you need to cast draw spells until you find a gush to do exactly that, do it. Your entire deck is about filtering. You have access to everything you need, you just need to remember that. Always use your cantrips constantly if you don't have all the pieces in your opening hand. Never stop casting them until the game is over, never hold back. That isn't what you're about. You don't have to keep mana up for anything. The deck runs 7 counter spells, but dispel only counters instants. You aren't meant to be the control player, so be cantrip aggressive. Most games you'll be ready to go early on, sometimes even by turn 2, in which case you almost always win the game on the spot. Inside Out Combo is beyond funny, it's an amazingly hysterical deck, now let's talk sideboard. If your opponent is running a deck you simply can't get through on the ground, or they're just so removal heavy you literally can't protect your tribe, Jace's Erasure is an alternative win condition they won't see coming. Since most of your deck draws cards, this Erasure, especially in multiples, will mill them out quickly. Great backup plan. Also include normal sideboard staples like Hydra Blast for red decks, Piracy Charm for additional unblockable against blue decks, Giga Drows for token strategies or anything that can drop creatures that much faster than you, and Disenchant for affinity and bogles. It's the perfect start for your sideboard shenanigans. Oh baby, this deck is great. So what do you think of Inside Out Combo? Is this the kind of popper deck that you would play? I'd love to hear what you have to say, so be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments and we'll talk about it. Also, remember to enter the giveaway for Hour of Devastation booster boxes. Subscribe to our channel, subscribe to Umotivo, go check out some of their awesome Inside Out Combo gameplay. It's good stuff and you're supporting an amazing new community. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. This video is brought to you in part by TCGPlayer.com. Inside Out Combo is a great strategy for great Magic players. If this deck is something that you're interested in, the link is in the description, but I'll do some legwork for you. If you want in on this deck and don't know where to start, how about Tireless Tribes? The card's literally 10 cents right now, I'm not joking. You can get a full playset for less money than it costs to buy a package of Tic Tacs. Click the link on the screen if you want in. Helps the channel we all win. Enjoy.